sorry, I think my camera cut out for a little bit there. So I was just finishing up saying that this last diagonal here is the thousands. So take seven times four, for example. What you're really doing is multiplying seven and 27 times the four and 48. So you're really doing seven times 40, which is 280. Or if you think about it, two hundreds and eight tons. So we can continue in this manner and multiply the rest of the rows by columns to obtain two times four, which is really 20 times 40 or eight hundreds. So zero thousands, eight hundreds, seven times eight is just a normal seven times eight. So you get 56 or five tens and six ones. And then two times eight, which is really 20 times eight or 160, meaning 106 tens. So now to get our product of 27 times 48, we just add up each of the digits in the, in the diagonals or the placeholders. So we have six ones, eight plus five plus six tens or 19 tens or rather nine tens and 100. So just like with column adding or with Napier's bones, we uh, pull over a carry a one over to the next place value. So now we have one plus one plus eight plus two, which is the 1200 or 200 and 1000. So now we get our same answer of 1,296. Notice that the numbers and the rows, the numbers, sorry, the numbers in the rows are the same as those in Napier's bones. So for example, let's get our little guide out and multiply, see the multiplication for 27 times 48. So again, you use the first number 27 for your bones, and then you look at the fourth and the eighth row. You can notice that we have the zero, the, the 20 times four is the zero eight, and the seven times four is the two eight, just like in our lattice multiplication. And then the eighth row, same thing, we have the the 20 times the eight, which was 160 or 16, and then also the seven times the eight, which was the 56. So you can see the connection between Napier's bones and lattice multiplication. Lattice multiplication has become a really popular trick for students, and there's a serious lack of understanding. Many students love using it because it looks like magic to them, and it's a really quick way to multiply large numbers without having to really multiply. Many students multiplying in large quantities. Uh, however, I think that it will remain an almost worthless algorithm that they will forget soon enough if they don't understand how it actually works. I think that introducing Napier's bones while introducing Lattice will show students not only how it works, but also where it came from. It could pique their interest to know that this form of multiplication was used over 400 years ago as well. So here's my little bit on Napier's bones and I hope you are able to see everything.